of his ball sack full of you know sperm cells so you can reproduce and bring forth your children. That's your line, man. Okay? That's your line. That's why they put drugs in the food, fluoride in the water, and all that shit messes with your uh, testosterone. That's, that's right, why that men with your testosterone level. Suffer from low T here. That's right? why men, the, the, look man, these, uh, there, there are certain toxins in plastic that they put in plastics that makes the water toxic. So when you go around buying this bottle of water, y'all don't even know, man, that there are certain chemicals they put in this water. That BP. That BP and that fluoride. Now they put fluoride in toothpaste. You ain't supposed to be taking fluoride into your body, man. That's toxic, man. And you know what that does? It feminizes men. That's why a lot of these young boys of our people, primarily, run around here all feminine, man. A lot of these young men, all the, all the food and eating McDonald's. And first, let me tell you something, man. Being up under the gun. Don't be, you got kids? Don't be taking your kids to no McDonald's. They did a test. It was on Facebook. Somebody put it up there. Uh, all of them. Not just McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's, McDonald's, Jack in the Box. Somebody took uh, like a burger and fries from McDonald's and they had a burger. It was a test. And it was on Facebook, man. And uh, they had it sitting out for like two years. Mm -hmm. And the Main food design. didn't go bad. It yeah. didn't go bad. It didn't decay. It don't break down. It doesn't break down. It's not real food. It's GMO food, man. Food like product. <laughs> That's why you see these young kids, <coughs> they all out of shape. Look, man, when you a little, I mean, okay, when you were little, you might have baby fat. When you're like maybe five years old, you might be a little pudgy. That's baby fat. That's that baby fat. But as you become six, well, around the time you get seven, eight, you slim down. Because when you, especially a young boy, you active. Like when I was a kid, we was riding bikes, climbing buildings, playing football, trees, playing basketball, swimming. Playing baseball, we was we was in the activities. Throwing playing dodgeball, throwing the frisbee, swimming, whatever it was. Nah, Nowadays, yeah, they got these yeah, kids boy. sitting inside here playing the videos, man. Eating <coughs> that GMO food. You see young kids 12 years old all fat and out of shape. That's wicked, man. These young girls, you see a young girl 12, 11 years old with a gut. That's because of the GMO foods. Because a lot of these so-called black women and uh, Hispanic women don't know how to cook. Don't know how to cook no more. Cook. Or don't want to cook. So they have to go to McDonald's, get the dollar menu. And they eat that food, and that food don't break down. It just sits there. <coughs> it's just called GMO product, man. Or goo. What they call that? That pink goo? Pink slime. Pink slime. McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's, all that. that, that they, that's created from a, a, a something called pink slime. And they mold it to look like food, man. That stuff don't break down. You don't believe me? Y'all don't believe me? Test it. When you go home, buy, buy some McDonald's or Burger King or Wendy's or whatever, sit it on top of your uh, kitchen table, the burger and the fries and the chicken McNuggets, and leave it sitting there. Leave it sitting there. Do the test. Test it, man. Or put it in the trunk of your car. Leave it there for a month and come back. It's going to be just as good as the day you brought it. All you got to do is warm it up in the microwave. Yeah. <coughs> I tell you, man, the so-called white man got this whole system set up to destroy our people. Okay? Now, this dude, Nate, Nate the fake, that the conspiracy theorist, the conspiracy theorist. That is a goddamn conspiracy, man. But that show you where he's at, man. You got certain guys, other Israelite groups, that say there's no such thing as a conspiracy. That's not a conspiracy. You got other so-called white people that's bringing out, the, bringing out conspiracies. Even white people in the society know that there's a conspiracy, that there's things going on. So what the hell is wrong with that asshole, man? Do you got something? Yeah, read. Ezekiel 4.13. And the Lord said, even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles. Defiled bread amongst the Gentiles. Because you know what, brother? We try to do things. We push for brothers to try to, brothers and sisters, to try to uh, do the right thing, eat healthy. You try to drink water like, here, I drink water, right? I put lemon. You, uh, you get some water, you cut the lemons up, and you squeeze the uh, lemon in the water. Make like your own lemon, the alkalines, the water. 
and it makes the water alkaline, and it alkalines your body because no germs and no diseases can live in an alkaline, how you uh, alkaline, say it? Alkaline rich environment. Alkaline rich environment. So whatever toxins or diseases or germs within your body, if you alkaline your body, okay, they can't live in that. So it kills, it purges out your body. Okay? But you want to know something? The air we breathe in, man. When y'all wake up in the morning, you see them, them like uh, planes. Them planes shooting out them little lines in the sky. Yes, that's called chemtrails. And barium oxide, man. Yep. And what that does, those chemtrails are little particles of uh, toxins, aluminum, toxins that go and pretty much breaks down your immune system. Your respiratory system. And your respiratory system. That's why y'all be feeling all messed up. That's why you feel like you can't breathe. Like you're going into cardiac arrest or something like that. Most of the time. That's why you are exploring your nose, got allergies, man. Because what's happening, your system is being broken down. From what you did, you're breathing it. And the water you drink. And the water you drink, the fluoride contaminated water. That's why if you alkaline your water with lemons, okay, it breaks down that fluoride that's in the damn on water, man. No, I'm not back. Well, you can saw yeah, I, was working, I, saw, I was working, I was on uh, 91 North, 91 South, coming out of, uh, I was coming out of Massachusetts. Yeah, that's a road. Y'all, you're not familiar with 91 unless you travel. You see 91, right there. I took a yeah, 91, I see, we live up in Connecticut. 91 is a road that runs parallel to 95 up in Connecticut. And that's the Kim Trails, man. They run all the way to Canada. Okay, right now people will look up and say, oh, no, that, that, that. that, you got it? Now listen, people will run up and say, oh, that, they're skywriting. That's just skywriting. But what are they writing? In the sky. And y'all see it, you see it everywhere, them lines in the sky. Lines in the sky in those places. And let me ask y'all a question. Has anybody ever asked? They're pushing the Has anybody ever asked why why are they doing that? Every day, every morning. Has anybody ever asked that's why? What, the average person will say, well, why, why are they doing that? What's the purpose for that? What's the cause for that? Because the elites of this society are trying to kill you, man. Okay? They're trying to uh, decrease the population. Yes. That's exactly what they're trying. But primarily starting with our people. They really want to get rid of us. Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. They want to get rid of us. But you know what? In the process, they're going to take out some of their own people. See, the elites, man, people like, well, where they go? Get them up here. People like these gentlemen right here. And I use that term loosely. Right? The elite banking families. The Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, which all these guys are really related. Okay, the Rockefellers... All these guys, are, they're really an offshoot of the Rothschild family. You got the Bilderbergers, you got the Krupps, you got the Vanderbilts, okay? But the top guys on the food chain is the Rothschilds, okay? They're trying to demaster. Well, really, they want to get rid of Israel. They want to get rid of us. And the, the, the Israelites are Negroes, Native Americans, and Hispanics. We're the Israelites. They want to get rid of us. That's why in the ghetto, the hood, look at this, the food. When you in, if you go to the ghetto, which y'all know, y'all, we all live in the ghetto because we're Israelites, right? Okay, well, look, you, you know, hey, you see a McDonald's everywhere else, but all those, all that garbage food. Yes. Then you got the Oriental man, the China man, which that's nothing but GMO and grease, okay? Yeah. Them chickens they give you that they send into the ghetto is all rotten, spoiled food, got salmonella. Right. They're trying to kill. They're trying to kill you, man. Okay? GMO food, and there's a liquor store. It's not hard finding a liquor store in the ghetto. Oh, hell yeah. Like a movie. Right. There's a liquor store right here, and there's another one right on that corner. Now, don't get me wrong. Listen, there's nothing wrong with drinking alcohol, right? There's nothing wrong with having a drink, but in moderation. If you're waking up in the morning, man, and you and you pouring yourself a screwdriver, nine o'clock in the morning, then you got a problem, man. Yeah, no. Okay. Well, listen. What we're gonna do about it is this system. I'm gonna read the scripture. Have faith in the Most High. See, first, the first thing we gotta do, we have to come. Our people have to come to the realization that we're Israelites. That's why we are here. Okay. We're reading the Bible. We realize that our people, we're the Israelites. We're God's chosen people. Right? And we have to come back to our true nationality of being Israelites, first and foremost. Then you got to realize what the name of God is and His Son. Their true names. Not God and Jesus. Okay? And you have to call upon God and His Son and their proper names and pray to Him and have faith and learn this Bible. Because God, see, 
I'm bringing out facts of what's going on just to get our people thinking. But there's going to be an end to all this. See, according to the Bible, somebody hold this up. See, according to the Bible, oh, no, I want your house shot. I want your house shot. According to the Bible, the man who the world calls Christ, he was a so-called, he is a so-called black man. Jesus Christ is, was and still is a black man in the heavens today. Okay? That's number one. You got to realize that. We can prove it. Revelations. <coughs> right? <coughs> he's coming back. He came on the earth 2,000 years ago, and he's going to make his return real soon to deliver the Israelites, our people. He ain't coming to save everybody. See, that's a lie that's been taught. I'll prove it. Read, read. This is um, Psalms 9 and 10. But brother, read that scripture one more time before we move on. I'm sorry. Our bread to found amongst the Gentiles. See, the, everything that's happening to our people is prophecy. It's all prophecy. The reason why blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are all messed up, because you have to go back, you have to go back to the Israelites. Remember Moses? Okay? And when the Israelites were being led out of Egypt, that was us. That was our ancestors, man. When Moses, when God, the Most High, used Moses to deliver the Israelites out of Egypt, and when we went up to Mount Sinai and we received the laws, in those laws, the Most High said, look, you got to keep these laws. Talking about the Israelites, if y'all keep these laws, you'll be okay. The laws are the Ten Commandments? Well, that, but there was a lot more. There was over 600 laws. 613 13 laws. The Ten Commandments is just, the Ten Commandments is just 10 of 600. Why that is with them? Leviticus, the whole book of Leviticus is the laws. Okay, give me Deuteronomy 28. Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. <laughs> oh, what was the precept you had? Okay, this is um, Psalms 9 and 10. And they, and they that know thy name will put their trust in thee. They that know thy name. So you have to know the name of the Most High or God. His name is not God. God is a title. God is a Greek word that means power. Yeah. Now, the language that God speaks... The ancient, original language is Hebrew. That's the language of the Israelites. So I'm going to tell you all for edification. The name of God or the Most High or the Creator, His true name in the Hebrew is Yahweh, which means, which means I am. Yes, I am. Now His Son's name, who the world calls Christ, when He came to the earth is Yahweh Shai, which means deliverer, because He came to deliver the Israelites, man. You understand what I'm saying? Starting off with the elect. The word uh, Yahweh Shai means deliverer. So his real true name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shai, meaning who the world calls Christ. The name of the Father or God is Yahweh. So when you pray, you have to call upon the name of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Because that's that connects you right to the Creator, man. That's the power source. You understand? So by call, you say, what are we gonna do? You're gonna call upon the name of the Lord and pray that we be delivered from what's coming out here. You understand? And they that know thy name will put their trust in thee. Put, I'm, we put now trust in the Most High and His Son. Because I have faith that the, the Most High going to send Yahweh Shai back to deliver us. But until then, we, we, what we're doing, this is what He told us to do. Teach and prophesy. Okay? Read on. For thou, Lord, has not forsaken them that seek thee. That's right. The Most High has not forsaken they that seek Him. We're seeking the Most High. The ones of us that have woken up. That's why we are here on the corner teaching, man. That's why we do videos. We put videos up. Because the Lord hasn't forsaken us. It seems that way sometimes, but we haven't been forsaken. Okay? Come on, brother. This is Psalms 19 and you know, 20 and 6. Know, now know that, that I, the Lord, saveth his anointed. The anointed. See, there's a, see, among, see the, more, the anointed are the brothers that's doing this work. The ones that the Lord is going to deliver. See, because let me explain something to you. Yeah. You got all Israel right here. Not all Israel is going to be saved out of this. A lot of our people are going to be sacrificed, man. Why? Because a lot of our people are too far gone. They don't want to get righteous again. You got a lot of our people out here that are homosexuals. A person like that is not going to be saved. Lesbians, That's a person like that is not going to be saved. A lot of our people are smoking cigarettes, smoking weed, doing drugs, selling drugs, committing adultery. You know what adultery is, right? You got women out here that are sleeping with multiple men. You got men out here that are sleeping with other men's wives. People like that ain't going to be saved amongst our people. You got people out here that have sold their soul to the devil for riches. People like that are not going to make it. Can those men uh, have other wives? Can what? 
protecting the Israelites. Yes, sister, that's according to the scriptures. That's right. Now, you know what? I understand it don't sound too groovy because you, you want to know I why? I'm jealous. That's what I'm you wanna, <laughs> I know. You want to know why? I'm going to tell y'all why. Don't be jealous. Don't be jealous. No, 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 but I'm going to explain why. It, it may not make sense. I'm not jealous. I understand why. Well, that's cool. But I know. I'm going to explain to y'all sisters why. 